yesterday we see how we can integrate like how we can initialize this project inside using git mm -hmm. and push it into github then after that we understand the how the component work the functional component which we are going to use mostly and also we see like how we can write the class component okay so after yep. that we, we we see how we can render the things in class component also in functional component in class component we use render method then functional component we just return the things jsx or html right so yep. we see these other things now uh, we, we need to actually see how we can create multiple components like we are going to create home component about component and a contact as component like some component and after that we are going to use all of the component in the app.js so that actually we can actually use multiple component in single component okay so we are going to see this thing and after that we are going to see how we can reuse some of the component let's say we have a header okay so we have a header component and the header is actually uh, we have in the home component also and we have in the about component also in the contact component so the same mm. component is used in three component right so we are going mm. to uh, create one component called header and then we are going to just import it in the three component okay so we are going to see these are the things today okay 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 fine Got so it. let's just clean things up and we are going to start fresh let me show you how we'll start so we'll keep the index.js also this app.jsx and we are going to remove this app uh what we can do we can actually create different branch let's keep it like this and we'll create a different branch and then we are going to do our things today today's things okay so let me show you how we can do that so we'll keep this thing so first of all we need to do like gate at all then we'll do like git commit and sm this was the second class i think right mm -hmm. second class or second session so you'll just do this commit this way and after that we can create a new branch using git checkout okay so git checkout then we will keep minus b minus b will actually create new branch okay and this checkout right. will um, go to that branch like currently we are in the master branch as you can see so you want to go into a new branch and we want to also create the new branch and then after that mm. using this checkout we want to go that branch go to that branch yeah. okay so let's give it a name called uh, third session okay so as you can see now this is we are currently in the third session branch okay mm -hmm. fine and if you just want to go back to our master branch then we will type git checkout then master no need to give minus b okay so minus b when you will use so it's only, create yeah, yeah. so yep. i need to create a new branch that time actually we will give minus one now if you okay. keep my master so as you can see now we are in the master branch if you just want to go back to the third session again so we will give like this and whenever you give a branch name don't use hyphen here okay always use spacing or camel casing okay all oh, right don't use hyphen it's sometimes oh, okay. create issue in the like in the when we are actually going to deploy this thing in a server that time actually sometimes it creates some issue so it's better not to use <coughs> hyphen okay 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 fine so now in our third session we can remove the things so let's remove this my class we don't need this thing and in the index.js we are going to import the app and we also we, we will not going to edit anything you are here okay in the index.js file so we will do everything inside our app.js file okay jsx file okay okay yep so we'll keep it keep as it is this index.js and as you can see we have import the app component here so mm -hmm. we linked this index.js with this app component and now we can actually use whatever we like inside this okay mm. and now let's run the app so and as you can see now we have removed the things okay so let's let's say we do like git add all and git commit minus m clean files as you can see we push everything and as you can see there is no m sign over here or any a mm -hmm. file over here okay so now everything is committed successfully you can also check this thing in the command line you can do like git status as you will see nothing to commit everything is clean okay right and now actually whenever you we try to like go to new branch or switch any switch to any other branch that time actually you need to clean all these things okay there should not be any committed uncommitted things or in a, and there should not be any things which are in the staging mode okay so we, we okay. must need to commit all the things and then we can actually 
go like this kit check out again okay so otherwise right. if you just uh, change the things over here and then if you just do git checkout these things will be removed okay so whenever we do git checkout you must need to commit first okay there's a thing right okay so now let's run the app so npm start yeah it started now okay so now what we can do so here we will create a folder okay so here in the inside the source okay so everything now we will write we will write everything inside the source folder so we'll create okay. new folder called component where we will write all of our component okay create all of our component components okay so inside the component so we'll create another folder so we'll create a folder called layout the layout means uh, let's say header header is a layout right and then we have let's say footer so in the in the page let's say this is the page so this is the page let's say okay so mm -hmm. um, let me show you so let's say this so this portion okay so this portion is the called header, yeah, header, sure. yeah. Okay. and th this portion is footer we can assume like that okay so right. and if you just go to in some other one anyone else so as you can see the footer, header is same right the header yeah. footer and same so we are going to create a header that we are going to use in any other or in the all components okay so we are going to reuse right. this thing so for that we are going to create a folder called layout inside this layout we are going to create multiple component which will be reused in other component okay so this is for this layout folder okay right so layout are something which are uh, used in multiple components which will be reused okay and inside okay. the component we will create another folder called let's say pages we can see okay so let's say in the website we will have multiple pages right we will have like a home page so we'll create a home folder okay then inside the page folder we will have like inside the page folder we'll have like about okay mm. so we'll have a about page if you want to create about page we will create all the components related to about page inside this folder and if you right. have all the components related to home page we will create inside this home folder okay and all the components which are which will use in about home and in other page also that will be used inside this layout folder okay right this is this is the common folder and this is the like specific folder for specific page fine okay yeah okay so this is how we are going to actually organize our all the code actually it will make your life more easier to find the files in future okay when you will create a big project fine yeah okay so now let's say um, okay let's first create the home page so here we will create a component called home.jsx okay fine yep and actually we can actually manually type like export default then the home component and return the jsx from the function okay so there is extension you can install it let me show you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah this one so as you can see es7 plus react redux this this is the icon and ds and this is the owner of the plugin okay okay so this is the this is the extension you will uh, install and after that if you just right. type r so in the in the jsx file okay in the jsx file you will type r yeah. f c e okay so if you type and hit tap you need to type tap okay so it will generate the boilerplate for you okay okay and you can remove this first line because this is not required now okay there's a thing all oh, right so it's just a quick way to yeah, set it so, up yes sure. so r f c e okay then see react functional right. exported component so if you just hit tap so it will create the things using this file name here okay okay nice. and whenever you create a mm, like component make sure you give a capital letter in front every the, the capital, mm. capitalized things okay the name convention mm. should be capitalized okay so this is our first component the home component let's create another one in the about so let's give it a name called about.jsx the same thing rfce so this is the about thing let's hmm. remove this one and we have our two component now and now we are going to use this two component inside our app.jsx okay hmm. so how we will do that so the same way so how you use this app inside our index.js as you can see here we will do the same way inside here for these other two components for mm. that so you will just start typing like this way this angle bracket and then you will type this component name which is over here like home or this thing over here okay so if you just start typing like home as you can see it's giving you the auto suggestion here like dot component dot pages dot home page home that home okay 
Mm-hmm. Now, if you just hit enter, it will auto import the things for you. Okay. And then you can just close the thing the same way as HTML. Okay. Did you understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the same thing as like this deep and other HTML component. Okay. So we are creating our mm-hmm. custom HTML component as you can, in the simplicity, if you can, you can think about, okay. Right. So let's say we create this component and now we need to use it in the app.jsx, <laughs> right? Otherwise we can see this yeah. text. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. Export, export home. Right. Yeah. See, so see. We can see, we can export default this home. And then finally mm-hmm. we need to use it over here. That's why we import there, right, the thing right. from there. And then we are using okay. it simply here. Okay. So now if you just save and reload over here, as you can see, it's showing home here, right? Mm-hmm. Because we have only home over here. Fine. Yep. Okay. So now let's import the about the same way. So you will underneath home. So you will type A, B, O. First, you need to give the angle bracket, okay? To get the auto suggestion. First, give the angle bracket. Then this about, if you start typing, this is the about page. It will auto import. Mm-hmm. And then you will just close the bracket. And now if you just go there, as you can see, both of them are here, right? As you can see, right. fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now this is how actually you will create multiple component. Okay. And then use it in a single component. Okay. So as you can see, we are using these two components inside this app component, right? Mm-hmm. So this app component is called parent component and these are called child component. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fine. Okay. Parent and child. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So after that, let's say. In the home, let's work with the home. Let's say we are going to design a simple home page here. Okay, so it will have like um, a hero. <coughs> first of all, let's say hero is just, just like a banner. Let's say okay. Okay. Hero. Let me just hero? let let me let me tell you all the thing. Let's open a simple website here. Then I'll explain to you. Okay, let's say this is our home page. Okay, the simple website. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what are the things we have here? Let me zoom out so that you can see. So this is our header, right? So this part is the header, right? Where we have this na- navigation link, right? Yep. And this side, we have this, uh, like the logo, right? Yeah. So this is this, this section will be reused in all the pages, right? The home page and the about page and any other page, right? This part, yeah. because this is the same for all the pages. So this is not part of a part of the home page this is part of the all the page okay so this component we are going to create inside this layout fine okay yeah so we're, going to, we're going to do that later but after that <clears throat> if you just see so up to from this portion to up to the end of the page okay these things this this portion and then this portion and if you just go down then this portion everything are in the home page right mm. because this thing is, is not available in other page Okay. Right. And the hero means actually this banner section. Okay. So whenever you open any website and just open any other any, any website, and if you see something like this in the headline, and then some description and any and, and well, some it's image. always fixed. No, no, this is this just a design convention. Okay. So most of the website you will get something like this. Okay. And this right. top section, this top banner is called actually hero section, or it's called like banner section. Okay. Is a list okay. All right. okay. So as 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 you know that this this section is called he- header and the same way this section is called hero or banner. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, fine. So now we are going to uh, in the home page. Let's say we are going to have a hero section and then we'll have some other description section. Let's say section two and then we will have like section three, like multiple section in a one page, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so now let's say this is our home page. So this is a one div which will have like this hero section, and then we will have another div called let's say some section two. Let's say okay, so another section, and as you can see, it's giving some error because actually uh, this HTML should be wrapped with a single component, right? So let's we can say like div like this. Okay. Mm, right. So yep. you need to wrap everything inside a div. Okay. So this is this is this is how it will work. Because it can only return one thing. Yeah. It, 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 a functional component can return only one component, one yeah. one JSX element. Okay. So and let's say we have another component here. Let's say section three. Okay. So our home page is done. Okay. So now the same thing we will do for our about page. So first section would be like in. Um, 
let's say title page let's say if you just open in another page let me show you over here so let's say we are opening this page okay yeah okay as you can see this is just showing the title of the page right so let's say this is this part is the another another section so we are we are, we are telling this is a title section okay we are not going to design this type of things but i'm just telling you how you will configure the things or how you will set up all the things when you will create a website okay right. let's say this is a about page section two and this is a about page section three okay so our about page is done our home page is also done right so with all the component okay right okay now it's time to create our the header so for that so the header will be used in about page also in this home page right so that's why we are not going to create this about section or about component inside this pages folder right so we are going to create it inside our layout folder okay yep okay so now let's we can say like header dot jsx we can say rfce this is the header fine and let's say we are going to create a footer also so in the, at the bottom we will have like this type of footer right which will be also will be available in all the pages right mm. yeah. the header and the footer the common thing so let's create the footer also and rfce so this is the footer fine yep okay do you so still now, need to get rid of that top line the input react from react yeah, yeah you can you can keep it or you can remove it it's fine no problem oh right so it doesn't matter right okay. it doesn't matter okay so yeah so now we have our header footer and we have our all the pages okay so now um if you just see the site now here so it's telling showing everything let's keep on over here let's just work with the home page first and as you can see we have our hero section we have our section two we have our section three but we don't have this header and footer okay right oh yeah why, so we, why? Need to, we need to import the header and footer first in the okay. home page right right so we know that home page will have the header footer and the about page also will have the header header and footer right so first mm -hmm. work with the home page so we'll put the header over here as you can see we got our header now the home is the parent for and this header is a child right right i see yeah so it, we will we'll do this do this so you can do that on footer as well you gotta put that yeah. in in the footer code yeah so we'll we'll put the footer over here okay ah, right so now you can just see yeah but i mean do you have to do that in the about as well when you go yeah so the, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a few in a few moments okay, let okay. me just tell you first so now in the in the pay in the site we have the header yep. we have the there footer and we have the all the component of the home page also right nice nice okay yeah. so this is how actually we are going to reuse the component now if you just want to um use this header in the about we can just take this thing and use the same way right right okay so now the, this this header com code this header code we don't need to go to every page and then paste the code over here right so we can just use this header component in whenever we need okay so let's say in about we have like a different header not the same header as this home okay so that time we will create another um in the in the layout we will create another header called like uh, about header only for the about page okay so that time actually we can import this thing over here okay right so same thing for the footer and after learning this basic thing we are going to actually create a like we are going to design a like this type of website okay so in future so that actually will get the understand like how you will design and how you will work with the css and other things everything in combine with the react okay mm -hmm. so we will we'll work with that in little uh, in the later later point so now let's reload the things there should not be an issue okay it's telling an issue footer is not defined so we haven't defined the we haven't import the footer okay so now everything is fine so this is the home page thing hero section two section three and now in the app.jsx so we can just comment this thing and if you just press control and then slash it will actually do the comment for you okay okay and this about and now this is the header and the footer is the same thing and the title section about page section and section three okay okay and i think now you can actually try to do this thing whatever we have done till now okay okay before you going to do that i just want to tell you one more little thing okay so as you can see in the home page and in the 
about this 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 header and we have also we also need to define the header over here right in the multiple place mm -hmm. right so we are mm -hmm. actually yeah. doing the same thing in multiple files so this is not a good practice okay so we know that the home will have the header and the about will have the header the same thing all same for the footer also right so and mm -hmm. the both files are actually importing the app.js right so mm -hmm. it's better actually you put the header and footer over here instead of putting them in the file separately okay so the header and here if you just put the footer and now if you just see we got see. two header and two footer and now we can actually remove this header from here i don't understand sorry it's one thing on the um app dot app dot jsx yeah tell me what's this middle bit with the how did you put home in there why what's with all the hysterics and the yeah, yeah. this is just a comment comment, comment. These, are, these are comment okay so, i mean just it's I a comment, comment. Oh, yeah sake, it's, it's comment it is. Yeah, it's, it's cool. okay so it's comment silly silly question okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. No, no no problem it's fine if you have one question you will ask sure okay so now we can just remove this header and footer because this about is a child of app.jx we know that right this about yeah, and the so home an, and that's mm. why we put the header and footer in the parent so if this is in the parent so it will obviously be available in the child also right mm. so that's the yeah. thing fine so we have our same layout again so the, yeah yeah so let's close all and let's go to our readme file okay so we create some components like home and about then we import them in app.js and we create some header and footer and we reuse this mm. thing in app.js so that it's get get <coughs> by all the child component okay so we have done up to this right mm -hmm. yep now we will see how we can use css or style the component okay yep so for that so what we will do so we can go to this source folder okay inside the source folder uh, we yep. are going to create a file <coughs> called let's say global.css okay just a css file CSS file right, okay then okay so let me let me tell you that? yeah I'll, I'll i'll tell you no problem so okay so in this this is a css file okay so we have like multiple way to write css we can write inline css like in this way like in the div we can give like yeah, style, sure. okay so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll we'll see one by one so this is the way of like in a file okay so in a file we will type create class and everything over here and then we are going to use this class in, in this here okay uh, i see i see so when you do when you do the inline css you use the um the yeah. special brackets the curly the curly braces yeah, yes yes so we will talk about this one by one no problem okay, okay. so let's talk about that because I, I was trying to do it in the way that i would do it in html I know yes, it is, yes. Uh, yeah so it's, it's a bit different it's a bit different okay right. yeah so first we are going to see how we can use create uh, our style inside this file and we can import this file and we can use this thing as a class okay and then okay. eventually we will see how we can actually see this inline css and other things okay so right. first let's say we are going to design here <coughs> header and then we will design our footer okay so these are the things we are going right. to design one by one yep and these are some common design like by default the browser has like some as you can see some margin and padding and other things okay so we are going to remove everything so for that we mm. can just give star and then we can type margin mm, right and here margin. this is a regular css okay so these are regular mm. css and padding also zero and yep. this box sizing border box these are the this oh, box yeah, sizing yeah. border box actually whenever you have some padding and other things it will calculate the things properly okay so if you don't yeah. give sometimes it's create issue so in the star we give these three things and it will do the things for you now if you just reload so it's still there because we haven't used this global.css file inside our app.jsx right yeah yeah for that so we can actually go to this app.jsx or just go to this index.jsx we need to link this css file inside this jsx app.jsx file okay so we go over there yeah. And here at the top, you can just say import and give the file path like dot slash .css. Okay, so right. nothing else. Just import then the path. Just okay. Path. Right. And now if you just reload, as you can see, there is no padding now. Nice. All right. Okay. Cool. cool. So this is how actually we import a file. Fine. Right. Right. Okay. Now let's try awesome. to design the header. 
so we'll do some simple design because this is not for the design we are actually the understanding like how we can do the things okay so let's create a class first called header and then we will give it a like display flex and then let's apply this thing so how we are going to apply this or let's give it a background first so that we can understand so let's give this aqua color and now we are going to use this header class okay so for that we need to go to the component layout the header and this is our header for that in the div the parent div of header so we are going to apply this header Give class, class right. okay. I see, for I that see. In, in, the, in the html we will type class and in the jsx we will type class name okay this class oh, name class equal name, right. yeah then the the same way as header okay let me cool. know if you, right. if you yeah no i get it. I get it yeah okay yes. and now if you just see as you can see you get this okay yeah. so the same way actually we can give some other style like give it some padding let's say padding like 10 pixel and, and yeah, 20 nice. pixel let's say mm. the this side and top and yeah, top yeah, and sure, bottom okay right. so yeah, yeah so the header is i think we're we done with the header now just work on the footer we can actually use the same design in the footer also so we can just create a new class call mm -hmm, it as footer mm -hmm. yeah yeah and now we will use this thing in the footer the div we'll type class name and then footer and now we have class this header and right, footer right, fine. fine nice and now we can create a another uh, we can create a like page body so we'll create a class called body for actually it will occupy the whole page so we'll just give it a height called 100 bh and now we will okay. use this class inside our app.jsx oh app the js right yeah okay. so because this is the parent so if you just mm. want to use it in the above then also you need to use it in the home but if you just mm. create a div over here and then here we will use that body class and inside mm. that we are going to use our home right got so it right easy and it'll be applied to everything yeah nice, so now nice. let's try see it's not working let me see why okay there are two footer here i can see let oh, me see, see for the issue okay so in the app.jsx the home we got another footer here that's the issue sorry for that ah, yeah that was duplication okay let's remove this and now it's fine as you can see the header then this whole thing is taking oh, this nice, the nice right okay 100 people. right yeah. nice, so nice. now we can just make it like 90 or 80 to make it like mm -hmm. look mm -hmm. in the in the first page okay so now we can actually the same way you can design this thing now you will see like how we can do the inline CSS okay so this is how yeah. you will create a file and you will create all the classes that you need then you will just use in the component and you can create multiple sure. file over here okay multiple CSS file and you can import the same way over here okay so let's say you have nice. another CSS file you can do like import then dot something then style.css okay you can do that nice nice okay now let's see awesome. how we can use our inline scissors <clears throat> we want to make this text bigger this hero text okay mm -hmm. for that you will type style over here and here you will oh, give this inline this, right yeah this this is the curly braces so yes this is how we are going to write our inline css this will apply mm -hmm. only to this hero text okay? yeah okay. sure sure okay so first you will give <clears throat> this curly braces and inside that you will give another curly braces okay and now you will type oh. like font size and here in the css you will give hyphen but here you will give camel casing okay as you can see this right. function mm -hmm. okay so font size then colon and then let's say we give like 10 pixel instead of 10 let's make it like 50 pixel as you can see it's become bigger okay whoa double curly braces yeah no, so you need to give double curly that. braces and let's say we have like multiple things let's want to change the color also then you will put comma and then you will type mm. color and if this is a single single word then that time you don't need to give this capital letter okay so the single sure. one and then sure. colon then okay. give it a like color called like uh f9 f9 f okay let's skip this color mm -hmm. and as you can see the color is also changed okay so this is how actually we will apply multiple css property in a inline css
fine in line yeah nice brilliant okay All so right. i think we can stop up to this give you a homework to design a simple page okay so okay. what you will do so you will you can just like go to google let's say google.com so this part will be the header okay so after this okay this is the mail image and this thing okay yeah yeah so this will be the header and this will be the content of the page okay fine yeah. and this will be the footer this two section uh i don't know about the uh, button elements there um, no, no no just just put the text okay so you don't need to make it functional okay just, text, okay, okay, just okay. design this thing okay so right. main, yeah i could do that yeah so the main target is that so you will create multiple component here and you will design this home page okay but i don't know i will be, i won't be able to do like an input element yet or uh, uh sorry i don't know i don't know how i don't know how to put like an input element in uh, in react oh you see okay, the okay, input okay. element you yeah, got yeah, the two button yeah, elements yeah i understand that. i understand okay so for that what we can do so let me show you how we can do that in short moment so here as you can see this, we have got an image so i'll show you how to put the image and how to put this input okay so okay. and when we click, we get some this type of things. We don't need this thing for now. Okay. So just put an input, input like this. Okay. Yeah. And if you give some like border radius, then it will look like this. Okay. It doesn't need to be hundred percent same like this. Okay. So just try to clone this thing. Okay. As an image, as a um, oh, as like a, an empty piece of text with with a border. With the border yeah, 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 it's the, fine. The yeah. border with some border radio. Let me let me show you how we can give like input. So it will give input the same way as HTML. Fine. Oh right. Oh yeah. nice. And then you can just actually style the things. Okay. Oh cool. All right. So it, the same it thing. The same. Right. Yeah. So now if you just go there, yeah, as you yeah. can see, we got our input. Fine. Right. I can do an input then. Oh, it's the same with button as well. I could do like a yeah, button. button element. Same thing, and the image also. You cool, can cool, do like cool. this, like image. Image tag, as you can see, the source. Mm -hmm. and then the alt text yeah, here we can HTML, just right. take this image uh, copy image link and put it over here and now if you just go there as you can see we got our image over here fine wow i didn't and, realize it was all the same yeah. right the, most nice. of the things are same okay the button also yeah. click me it's just basic hdml yeah nice, as you nice. can see this button here you just need to design cool. okay so it doesn't need to be 100 percent same as this but try to design the similar way okay yeah yeah but, no yeah I, yeah I think i could so the main target is you uh, different um you create multiple component and use it properly so that it looks like this okay mm -hmm. yeah okay so that is your task great cool um okay so um, i'll i'll push yeah. the code so that you can get the code from the github so let nice, me nice do the things so git commit minus m third plus done git push and whenever actually you push into a different branch okay so let me close this thing so as you can see we are not pushing into master branch right so we are pushing into a third branch right mm -hmm. so that time yep. actually we type git push minus u origin and then the branch name okay so the third branch fine third mm -hmm. session and if you just do this oh right you have to specify right yeah. you have to specify, specify the branch, branch name okay right, so, right, yeah right. so now if you just go to our github As you can see this one this is the repository if you just mm. go there and it should have like two branches as you can see master and the third yeah. session okay so master That's contains nice. first and second class and this <clears> is the <throat> third class okay okay if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos it will help me to grow also it will encourage me to create more videos like this so see you in the next video